Hey there, Ishbel here. Thanks for joining me. We are gonna be doing a shoulder workout today. And it's not actually a workout per se, it's more of a, a reset. So this series of exercises is a really common series that I do with my clients who um, sit at a desk or um, you know are just doing a lot of repetitive activities with their upper body and a lot of times uh, sitting at a desk particularly you know being at a computer it can change your posture over time and create a lot of tension in the shoulders in the neck and then it can also create uh, fatigue and weakness in the postural muscles particularly the muscles across the mid back that help to keep you kind of Upright. So to counteract the effect of, of sitting at a computer or, you know, there's all sorts of different things that, that we do that are right in front of us. You know, if you're a new mom, breastfeeding mom, I can totally relate to that when I had my uh, daughter that, you know, you're just constantly kind of hanging your head forward. So, and the majority of us have iPhones these days. It's exactly the same thing. You know, we're just like hanging forward. The head is supposed to be on top of the shoulders and that helps to relieve tension in the neck. So this whole series is designed for that. We're gonna start on all fours and you notice here that I do have a foam roller. Um, the foam roller makes a huge difference. If you don't have one you can still do these exercises without it but it, it does make a, a pretty big difference. So. It's definitely a tool I would advise you to get if you don't already have. We're gonna start on all fours. We won't use the foam roller for this to start off. Check in, make sure that the fingers are spread wide, hands are about shoulder distance apart, and then we're gonna keep the spine long, and especially keep the neck long, keep the shoulders out of the ears, and then start to glide the shoulder blades back and forth. So this is called protraction and retraction. So as we go into retraction, the scapula are gliding together. And then we're pushing the floor away and feeling the scapula glide apart into protraction. And you can imagine here that the rib cage is like a cylinder and that the shoulder blades are just sliding around that cylinder. Now a lot of times when people do this exercise, they tend to bend their elbows. And there's a reason for that. So bending the elbows is a com compensatory movement to take pressure off of uh, the muscles around the scapula. So by keeping the arms straight, we're really trying to stay out of the chest muscles and work more the mid-back muscles. So already with this exercise, we're really trying to uh, change the patterning of how your brain communicates with your shoulders. Okay, again, because we're so forward uh, situated throughout our daily lives, our pecs become really dominant and those mid-back muscles are not working quite as well. So um, that's kind of the whole focus of this exercise or this whole focus of this routine today. Next piece here, we're going to lay on the roller, so you want to sit on one end and then lay back with your head on the other end. And we're going to reach the arms back up towards the ceiling and do the same motion. So you're going to reach up for the shoulder blades, or excuse me, reach up towards the ceiling and feel the shoulder blades slide open across your back. So this is called protraction. And then let the shoulder blades glide down and gently squeeze the shoulder blades into the roller, and that's called retraction. And noticing again here that the arms are staying straight. And learning how to move the scapula independently from bending the elbows takes some practice, okay? So if you're finding that difficult, you're not alone. All right, then we're gonna let the shoulder blades just kind of rest in center. And we're gonna stretch the arms out to the side. So here's where we get into more of a stretch through the chest. And then float the arms back up. 
And as you move the arms back and forth, try to stay as relaxed as possible between the ears and the shoulders. Those upper trap muscles, the muscles at the tops of the shoulders can get kind of overused. And then also the scalene muscles, the muscles through the sides of the neck can get really kind of um, aggressive, if you will, in their activities. And so with this exercise, keep your neck, tops of your shoulders as relaxed as possible so that you can really stretch through your chest. And then we can hold the arms out to the sides as long as that doesn't feel like it's too intense of a stretch for you. And then we're going to do a gentle rocking action. So with this, the movement is coming from the feet. You're driving through the soles of the feet to then rock the body up and down. And ideally, the entire body is easeful enough that it can just kind of bob in response to the feet rocking the body. And then simultaneously, with the arms out to the sides, we're getting quite a nice chest stretch here. Now, a lot of times when people do this, the neck and head will stay completely still. And ideally, that is not what's gonna happen with you, okay? If the head is staying totally still, it means then that the energy that you're producing from your feet is not translating up your spine and out through the crown of your head, which would be the ideal scenario. So really pay attention here and note that you're translating this movement all the way from your feet through your head. Otherwise, that energy is getting locked up somewhere in your spine, and that can create a lot of overuse uh, injuries in the in the back and in the neck and shoulders. All right, so then we're going to come back to stillness, return the arms back up towards the ceiling, and then lay them down by your sides. Gently press the palms of the hands into the floor, so you're creating some engagement through the backs of the arms. And then we're going to slide the shoulders up to the ears, and then slide the shoulders down out of the ears. And as you go up and down, you don't have to push really hard into the floor, okay? Just about 50% of your maximum engagement will do the trick. And then as you do this, you'll feel how your shoulder blades are gently sliding up and down against the roller. So this is one of the benefits of doing this series on the roller. You simultaneously get a massage um, of the shoulder blades and of the mid-back against the foam roller. Again, you can still do this whole series on the floor without the roller, but you just don't get nearly the, the massage that you do with it. And then we're gonna flip the arms up towards the ceiling and go into full arm circles here. So we're stretching the arms overhead and then circling all the way down and around. Now, if you know that you have rotator cuff issues, going into full range of motion can be a little problematic for the shoulders. So if you're getting any clicking or pain in the shoulder, you're definitely gonna wanna make those circles much smaller. Okay, so stay within the range that feels comfortable to you. If you are able to go through full range, I would definitely encourage you to do that. Here again, we get some massage across the shoulder blades, but also a really lovely stretch through the chest. And then you can also go in the opposite direction, which is gonna provide you a totally different kind of stretch. And you may find that you're able to go in one direction, no problem, but then when you move in the opposite direction, you start getting some clicking in the shoulders or some uh, pain. So there again, choose wisely, listen to your body, don't do anything that hurts. All right, we're gonna come back to center and then we're gonna do some fast twitch action here. So you're just bobbing the arms up and down. Imagine here that there are hands coming down from the ceiling holding your hands. And so the arms are rather slack and you're just kind of getting moved by a force outside of you. So really great exercise for helping to uh, 
challenge the stabilizing muscles in the shoulders, but it'll also challenge your abs a little bit to stay balanced on this foam roller. Then we're gonna stretch out the forearms. So we're gonna turn the fingers to point out to the sides and then just go out to the sides, touching down with the fingertips and coming back up. This is a pretty intense stretch for the nerves running from your neck through to your fingertips. So if it feels like too much, if you get any kind of numbness or tingling, I would advise you to lessen the degree to which you've bent the elbow or bent the wrists. Okay, maybe make it a little bit smaller. You could then turn the knuckles in the opposite direction, creating fists, and turning the knuckles towards the floor, and then coming back up. This particular set of exercises for the forearms is one, again, that I oftentimes do have my clients to use, spend a lot of time at the computer. But this is also really great for um, those of you who play golf or tennis, um, any kind of um, exercise where you have to hold on to something and, and kind of exert a lot of um, energy through your hands or your forearms, this can be really helpful. So we're gonna release that, shake it out, and then we're gonna roll off that roller take the roller out you can place the roller underneath your head so that you're resting the base of the skull there and then rock the head from right to left I'm running through these exercises rather quickly you may find that you like an exercise a lot it feels particularly good to you in which case I would certainly advise you to do that exercise a few more times than than the amount of time I'm allotting here. Could then go into some spinal rotation. So we have hips, knees, and shoulders stacked, and then leading with the top arm as you rotate back, and then coming back around. Here again, this is gonna help open up the chest muscles, but also encourage range of motion through the rib cage. It's actually quite rare that we rotate in our day-to-day -day lives anymore, you know, unless you've got <laughs> a, a car that doesn't have a backup camera, then maybe you still are rotating. <laughs> but the majority of people just don't rotate anymore. And it's a really important range of motion uh, for the neck and the shoulders. One thing that can happen with this exercise is that there can be pain in the shoulder itself. So if you experience that, bring your hand to your forehead instead. Okay. And then another option here is to create a circle. Okay. Just following that arm as it goes around. As we noticed with previous exercises, Doing this more full range action with the arms can feel really good or it can be a little bit too much for the shoulders. So pay attention. You might be able to do the arm circle on one arm but not the other. All right, so that's your shoulder. A reset, range of motion, uh, feels so good. It's a great way to end the day. Um, if you are one of those people who spends a lot of time at your desk or on the computer or maybe gardening um, is another thing where people have a lot of hand, um, neck and shoulder tension, end your day with this series. I promise it will make a difference. Um, and if you can do it daily, even better. All right, thank you.